the, the right, hypocritical so. part about it is that we make fun of girls all the time for not controlling their sexual urges and being hoes all the time. Like she belongs to the streets, all this stuff. You tell guys that they're losers if they don't go to the gym. They're losers if they play video games. You're a loser if you smoke weed. You're a loser if you watch sports. You need to exercise discipline. But when it comes to girls, oh shit, get a vasectomy because you can't control yourself because you're not capable of exercising discipline. Why do you have to be disciplined in every single aspect of life? Networking, success, all this stuff, watching sports, playing video games. You need to be on your stuff. But for women, Nut inside girls with after getting a transgender surgery. All right, there goes another one. This is the reason why you do not follow trends. Trends come and go. Take, for example, the ideology of the red pill trend blue pill, red pill, whatever kind of pill, pill you're pilling on. That's why you do not follow trends. Listen to what this guy, Sneeko, is talking about. I think that it's important to to have family values and to and to prepare for eventual parenthood. Why? What makes you high value? Other people's perception, having a lot of money, having a, a network. Like, why does that matter? Why does being a high value man matter if you're not going to eventually start a family? To be a high value man, the top three steps: avoid <laughs> family creation, get a vasectomy, and have a network. It's just like the generic male self improvement stuff but number like two of the top three get a vasectomy and avoid family creation do you agree when he says high value man he's talking from the perspective of being able to be a play playboy and get as many girls but why is that a priority over having a fan like wh why would that even be advice why, why would that be a male self-improvement advice well, have be a playboy instead of raise a family well we we, we sh like we make fun of women all days for wanting to be girl boss queens and sleep around and have all this and then you tell guys be a playboy instead of raise a family that's the same advice on the other side i like what this young man is actually saying here he's making some good sense and refuting the idea of um being a red pill high value conundrum syndrome that most of this older guys who have lost all they, they could in being actual men are imputing on young men to become um that makes totally no sense but i like what um mr sneeko is speaking here or saying here uh, regarding such ideologies young men please do not follow that nonsense to be a high value man is a man who respects himself respects his parents respects his siblings and honor and value himself and his siblings and his family and in due time raises a family as such that are a respectable people in the society you build society from families not from men running around and being womanizers or chasing after things that do not make sense just understand mm. understand that from that purpose perspective listen on well we we, we sh like we make fun of women all days for wanting to be girl boss queens and sleep around and have all this and then you tell guys be a playboy instead of raise a family that's the same advice on the other side because right. here's the thing when you're a playboy you're going to be better at raising the family biscuits and sausages what are you talking about a playboy raising the family ask this question to yourself how many of those young guys and young girls that their parents are playboys or playgirls and how did those children become or turn out okay let me give you a simple example a young man who is in the industry for example grows up and marries a girl from the country who does not know anything about his life or maybe has an idea about what his life, past life is like. Yet in his marriage, he still goes around, sleeps around. He gets his wife pregnant. He may not have gotten another woman pregnant out there, but he's using caution as he goes. Let's put that in, in quotation. But then he gets his wife pregnant. She has children. His son grows up, finds out his father was a corn star. And then that will not sit well with him, with, with his mates in school. Turn the, turn the coin around. Flip the coin. Flip the coin around. His mother, the same. She was a corn star. Or is a corn star, still sleeps around and does her work. Married to this man who was from the country who never knew her, her lifestyle, but then finds out later on, but still stays with her. They raise children, and the children go to school. What do you think those other kids would say to that child? Your mother's a corn star, your father's a loser, all those kind of Those things are detrimental to the children. They don't see it that way because everybody's selfish. The reason but he's saying that, avoid family creation. Well, he's saying he's talking from the frame of being a guy getting a lot of girls. And then, if you want, decide you want to get a family down the road, you can always unsnip and then go ahead and go to, down the family route. I agree to a degree that you need to have sex with at least 50 girls as a guy. I've talked about that all the time. It's controversial. At this point in your, in your career, when yeah. you're on the way up, focus on 
things that are going to help you move forward in life and become successful. Yeah. And get so a surgery find, done that prevents you from having children. Yeah, but you can always reverse it. But that's saying, not like a lot of the times that shit messes up. It's That's not something you could just like hope that it's going to be okay. Generally, with. most men can't control their urges. So what's yeah. going to happen is they're going to go fuck around and get somebody pregnant. Becoming good fathers too. Just like we make fun of girls for prioritizing their careers and wanting to be girl bosses and wanting to build an empire. They're not prioritizing motherhood immediately and then we're saying men ignore family creation get a vasectomy so you could focus on getting rich and then you'll be 40 you'll have all these uh all these girls and girls and then start a family like how are we building men to become good fathers if they've been only prioritizing success if they have a dick surgery how do they have the character that's going to lead a proper family so you're saying because they've dealt with a I bunch like of that's... hoes first yeah. so, so they know what a good one on. is so you... no no you know, that's not what say that. you say that. no no so no but what's the priority then Look, family or it success? doesn't mean it doesn't mean that you need to have kids young but it shouldn't be avoid family creation in your head that's an important thing to think about when you're young too how am i going to be how am i going to have the character how am i going to have the maturity the responsibility to become a good father when i am ready to do it i'm telling guys you should get rich as possible too but you should also be working on like like building your character and looking at how I'm going to raise my kids and how I'm going to be a good father. If you're 40 and you have all these hoes and you have, you have, you have experience with hoes, is that going to make you a better father? Probably not. You'll just know how to avoid a bad woman, but it's not that you don't need a to realize what a hoe is. Why not just avoid, why not just understand that a lot of these women are unwifeable and then navigate around that instead and just not spend your time and invest your energy into women that you don't even respect or like no, in the first because of our selfishness in this world, we tend to do things that will only propagate our own idea or our own desire out in the world, rather than being a selfless person that will help everyone, including yourself, grow macho and what that which is right. I don't understand. How can you say a playboy will raise a better family? Young man, fresh and fit guy, I beg to differ. Rap Hill Manosphere should have a value system that will raise men to be good fathers, that will raise young men to be good uncles, that will raise young men to emulate good character, to build country, to build others, to build society. But if you're a man who wants to leave a legacy, not financial legacy, family legacy, yeah, the finances is good and all that, but a family legacy that's built on good values, find a way to learn those things. Find a way to get those values in you. Because if they're not in you, you can't put it out. The men who are out here only trying to have sex with women and have no emotional connection, they're weirdos. A lot of this red pill, how to get girls stuff, a lot of them are like that as well. They're like the, the peak masculine uh, uh, life is just to have a bunch of women that you barely know and that, yeah. that's stupid. That's fucking ridiculous. Keep that in mind. I want you to keep watching. We'll bring more videos as such for you. Like this video, comment on this video, hit the notification bell and let us know how you feel about what we're doing here. We want to turn men to be valuable men, to be good men, not just high value men, good men. Because a good man, hmm, a good man is hard to find. Thank you.